Welcome to my channel guys, my name is Farida. If you don't know me, I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and the founder of FB Academy. We have over 1,500 students and over 50 products launched. So today I'm gonna talk about how to end price wars with Chinese sellers because this is a big concern for a lot of my followers. So I really wanted to touch on the subject. I actually started selling sunglasses when it comes to Amazon FBA and sunglasses is literally one of the most saturated categories on Amazon. There are countless sellers and they are selling sunglasses for super cheap not only that you can also get packs of two packs of three for basically the same price that I was selling my sunglasses at uh, but I was still able to reach $20,000 in sales every single month even though it was a super saturated market so let's go over how I did that and how to uh, end price wars with Chinese sellers so my theory when it comes to this is the customer needs to see the value in your product and I recently just made a TikTok about this, which is Tiffany sells a paperclip for literally $2,700. I saw Greta speak about this in one of her Facebook ads and I was shocked. Uh, they sell a paperclip made out of gold, of course, but for $2,700. While dropshippers and even other sellers on Amazon are in this price war with their competitors going cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and they're just never winning. And the problem is that the customer does not see the value in something that's that cheap. They're not putting in effort for the customer to see the value while, for example, Tiffany has created this entire brand. So when the customer is spending $2,700, $700 on anything in Tiffany, they're spending it because they know they are getting a good value for their dollar amount. And this is the mentality that you should have and this is the mentality that I was thinking I need to have when it comes to my sunglasses and pricing them at $25 or $26 even though other sellers were selling their sunglasses for $11 for a three pack, I said, no, I'm still going to sell mine for $25 or $26, but instead I'm going to create a brand around it. I'm gonna create a community, a culture, I'm gonna post on Instagram, I'm gonna post on TikTok. I want the customer to feel like they are getting a great value for their money that they are spending. I wanna hype my product up, build it up so that they are excited to purchase from me rather than just purchasing a generic brand that doesn't have anything special or specific to it. You should leverage social media when it comes to building a brand. Now, I know that some of you don't actually want to create content when it comes to your Amazon FBA businesses, but sometimes it is necessary, even if you're not going to create the content yourself, you should invest or try to purchase at least a few videos from a website that I always recommend. It's called Billow.app and this is not sponsored not affiliate, not anything like that, okay? I'm just saying that you should try to get a few videos from Billow.app at least so that you can run ads for your product through Facebook ads and TikTok ads, even if you're not gonna create content yourself. Now, building a brand, as I said, is super important when you are trying to price your item as a more premium item or just you want to avoid the price wars completely with Chinese sellers. So there are a few ways that you can do this. So branding, number one is First of all, creating the logo and creating the social media accounts um, and creating the videos and the content for it. Number two is packaging. Packaging is so important and packaging can really make you stand out because you can put your logo on it and you know have it feature your color theme and everything like that. And then I highly recommend that for your packaging that you actually take an image of the packaging and have it be either behind or next to your product in the main image. And that will make you stand out within the rest of your competitors because nobody has the same packaging as you. So now you are unique and now you're gonna catch people's attention. I also recommend you do this when it comes to infographics. Now you have um, a slot of nine images that you are able to put on your Amazon listing. I recommend that every single image has writing on it, something pointed out, some type of feature, some type of benefit, and not just that, you, sh you should have it in your branding uh, font and in your branding colors so that it all ties in together. A lot of the sellers are using the same infographics that the Chinese sellers have created and are putting on their Alibaba listings. But what I did is I differentiated myself and I stood out by creating my own infographics and taking that same exact information that, you know, catches people's attention, the same exact information with the features 
features and the benefits and everything like that but I'm just putting it in my own branding my own logo and my own colors so because this brand is so unique to yourself no Chinese seller is going to be able to compete with you or generally you're not going to be really in competition with them because they are not able to copy your branding and copy your identity and copy the community that you've built over on your social medias and this is exactly what I go over in my program and how to do this honestly I think this is the new way of launching an Amazon FBA business I don't think that launching uh, products that are generic that don't have any branding on it is the way to go anymore it's too saturated for that again any Chinese seller can go in and just crush you when it comes to pricing and they will still profit so you want to keep your profits healthy keep your profit margins healthy do not go into these price wars but instead add value so instead of lowering your price think how can I add value and how can my customer think and look at my product and say this is a complete no-brainer I have to purchase this now because I'm getting so much value out of this product it can even be through giving a gift uh, um, out with your product which this is what a lot of sellers are doing now so maybe try to think of something that's unique something that this customer would actually really need to be able to use your product so the whole idea here is you want the customer to look at your product and say wow this is worth my $35 not the other product that is priced at $18 because it might not be as great quality as this amazing branded version of this product so hopefully you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you next week bye